Okay. All right. Five. This is a February, uh, the virtual Zoom, or yeah, what you call it, virtual Zoom call? I don't know. <laughs> um, but thank you all from, for coming. We just came off a fabulous uh, Chairman Circle. Um, just, wow, it was three days of wow is what all I can say. Because uh, then I'd have to kill you if I said anything more. <laughs> But um, but needless to say, uh, we worked really hard. We looked into the future. We looked into the present. Um, it's it's just a, we had an amazing amazing meeting. Um, so your your home office team and your national team is really working hard to make this business the best it can be. Um, and uh, one of the things that we wanted to do right off the bat was to open it up to you all to see who's done the executive, or excuse me, the, um, the uh, oh, I can't find here. Virtual training. Virtual training, yeah, the virtual okay. training. That, um, so who's, who's done that? Yep. Okay, all right. And, and what, um, what, are your, what are some of the things that you think is most important to teach your teams from the very get-go? I'll say something. Okay, good. Um, I think just in general, just, I mean, even some of us old dogs that, you know, have really started out and really primarily, and for me, still focused on home parties, it just goes to show that home office is just super supportive on anything that's going on. Uh, virtual parties have taken us by storm, and like, I think a friend, of, matter of fact, it might have been Sherry that said to me once, if you're not doing them, they're going to find somebody that is in your area. So um, I just like that they have the training available for those of us who have, you know, not had this as part of our business regularly. And on top of that, so that whenever new people join our team, we can say, Hey, dive right in, take this training. This is excellent information. So awesome. Awesome. And we have seven, one, seven, three, two, four, 1812, I'd like to put your name in. Who is that? Lori Gilbert. Lori Gilbert, okay. Let me change your name, girlfriend. What? I'm sure you've got something to say. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Um, well, I did all the trainings and actually last um, go round, I used the whole new party pack and uh, everybody seemed to really, really like them. Um, it was a lot of work to create basically a whole brand new show, but the, the photos are just fabulous. And uh, it seemed like everybody enjoyed learning a recipe a day, you know, and then having it feature the power tool of the day and the supporting products and stuff like that. But awesome. I got, awesome. Go ahead. I got one down and five more to design. Okay. So are you, are you going, do you make each one different, Lori, according to the host, or are you making, are you doing one template and then changing, you know, the host information and, and uh, the, you know, specials and stuff? How, how, how are you doing it? I just make one template and then um, tailor it to each new host and like guest specials and stuff. So then like I'll have, um, you know, one pot meals is, is all ready to go and I can use it again and just substitute out what I need to. Awesome. Awesome. Cause I remember Becky Adams saying, you don't change your show every single time. Why would you change your virtual unless it's the same, right. group, you know? Um, so you might just put in some different recipes and stuff, but I've been hearing nothing, but I, I have to admit, I've been, I've been on the road uh, at retreats and, um, and meetings, and so I have not had a chance to sit down at my computer at home. Hopefully this next week I'll be able to do that. I may be calling out to some of you for help. <laughs> but, but needless to say. Okay, so thanks, Lori. Appreciate that. Who else? Who else has used it? Hey, Nancy Joe. Yeah. Yes. Hey. Um, well, I have to say a couple of things. The I, I guess I've just been waiting for some good, solid training on virtual parties in general because I just needed a foundation for me to understand so I could promote it to our team. Um, I just wasn't confident until recently. So thank God for those uh, virtual party packs. So I'm excited that our old timers 
are on board with it. They're <laughs> excited, they're confident. Our Visley group is really growing big and wide. Um, but as far as new consultants, they don't know any different. So as far as I'm concerned, it's part of consulting as a whole, you know, diversify. You've got to do cooking shows and, and virtual parties. I mean, it's all, it's all being a consultant. So yeah, I just finished up two, um, closing both of them today. Uh, so not quite the success that I was hoping for, but you know what? You can't really measure it yet. I mean, it's just, so yeah, I've got another one that just started a few minutes ago and I had to go on live and explain everything to them on that. So, but I love them. I mean, I think they're, I think they're really gonna, they're really going to, you know, add a lot to our business. I'm so excited about it. So more excited about that than old people are getting on board and the new people don't know any difference. So just have them do yeah. it. Okay. So I have a question. Can I ask this question, Nance? To yeah, absolutely. It's, it's actually your meeting, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead you go girl you know wait first i want to say it looks like you are sitting outside of some place i you? am outside? okay i am in oh, arizona my. right now okay i was gonna yes. say, okay. i am outside i, I have my doorbell and i'm like nancy got kicked out so i'm <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so what I'm here, what I heard you say um, was Visley. So can you tell us a little bit more? Like you said, your your community of Visley is growing, and I know a little bit about Visley. And um, can you tell us a little bit more about that, Eileen? Yeah, you know, I, I've I've been a sin share and a post my party user. I I dropped out of both of those, and I don't know if it's just because I, I I'm looking for the perfect you know, posting service. And so far, this one seems to meet everything. I mean, it's just, um, it's a posting service that instead of, if you guys have a virtual assistant that was creating templates for you that you could share with your team, we had a separate Facebook group for our virtual, you know, people, and we'd have to go in there and, and share our templates with them there. Well, you do this all through Visly. So Visly, you just add people to your team right on Visly. We have created, you know, templates, like I did the Fast and Fresh, um, another one did the um, one pot meals, somebody else is doing the prep one. Now we are emphasizing that when we share these templates, they still have to, you know, tweak the, the text, the body um, okay. when they use it, because I don't want, I don't want anybody getting thrown in Facebook jail. And frankly, it, it has to sound like them and it doesn't have to be an epistle. It could be just you know, <laughs> three thing on there. It's not like they have to come up with a whole storyline right. because the, the graphics tell the story. Okay. And all I, all I mentioned to them was you guys, when you see the picture, what would you say about that tool? That's it. You don't have to be an encyclopedia or a product guy. Just what do you normally say about a tool, that particular tool, either at a cooking show or when you're talking to friends about your tools. Um, so trying to make it as easy as possible. So anyway, um, the Visley community, the peeps Visley community is, is growing and, uh, Blair is actually the one that turned me on to that. So it's really yeah. worked out very well. It's just yeah. one place to get everything. Is it a, is it a Facebook blur? Uh, no. no, no, Visly is, um, it's a posting service. Just yeah. like, no, 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 I know I got that, but are you doing this? After, uh, you know how Pampered Chef has all of these things. I mean, since Share has a Facebook community and how to use it better. Oh, no, this no. is just it's all just done. You, you create okay. a team on Visly. You got create it. a team on Visly. Okay. okay, so you're, so you're, here's what I'm thinking you're doing, because I've, I've heard Blair talk a little bit about that, is that you're adding your consultants, consultants that want to be part of that, um, because I do know that they get two shows a month that Correct. are free, free. so right. they don't have to pay, like with SinShare, it's just a monthly fee, they don't have anything, you know, in the Correct. way of, you know, just do a couple shows a month and, you know, that's free. So um, that's how you're, I'm assuming that that's how you're starting people off then. Is that what that's exactly right. And some, okay. uh, like for me, I do mostly cooking shows. So if I do two virtual parties a month, you know, it's free. I mean, I pay for the service because I am, we, we have a team and everything, but right. yeah, I think it's just really just a streamlined. It's, it's like everything's in one spot instead of going from pay, Facebook to since share to yeah so i just i really like it it's the same price it's 9.99 i think a month and i know blair has shout out to blair i know she has uh she had sat down with us uh marie and myself and uh shared a little bit about you know visley and how easy it really is so but i feel like you i feel like i'm, I'm still on post party i'm still on since share i know 
I know it's a leap of faith, but you know what? If there are different teams on your on Visley, you can share between the teams too, which is kind of cool. So yeah, hey. okay. But yeah, I'm so you'll have so to good. do a training on that. I mean, oh, now you're putting a little too much <laughs> confidence in me. I haven't or somebody, we know. need to know what's we need to know what's the hottest yeah. and the greatest new services. So yeah. I would say Blair is probably the best candidate for that. Yeah, she she was was very, very good. She we'll get Blair to do that. Um, I have a question. How do you spell Visily for those of us that would like to at least just go look at it? Is it B-I-Z? You, you can just go right to, you can just go right in there. Um, how do you spell it? How do you spell, you spell it? It's, oh, I thought it was how you spell it. B-I-Z-Z-L-I-E. Right, B-I-Z-Z-L-I-E. Very phonetic. B-I-Z-Z-L-I-E. Awesome. Okay, thank you. We'll what can I help you with? Who is that? Okay. That's okay. <laughs> Somebody's, I think, talking to a child. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so the next thing I wanted to uh, tell you guys is um, one of the things that I learned with um, being with all the nationals is how many people, quite a few of them are starting new consultants off with two to four virtual shows. They're, they're actually sharing and showing them how to go in and personalize it. They're sharing their, um, their, the, the party and then showing them, doing a little training on how to go in and personalize it for them. But starting while they're waiting for their kit. They're starting them off with two to four shows, and so they're they're qualifying right away, uh, and um, and I just it, it gets them immersed in the um, you know the product knowledge and having shown them how to look things up and stuff like that uh, right away while they're waiting for their kit. So I thought that was pretty that that was pretty awesome. Patty, did you hear some some of the people talking about that oh, at all? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, without obviously, you know, like within days, you know, they could actually, because they don't need a kit if they're doing a virtual show, but they're getting them qualified right away. So yeah. that's, that's the success is that, you know, they see success right away. So they yes. think what it is, is that you do the show for them, uh, a right. virtual show, and then um, what now with all of these other things that you can share templates, they can just go, you can share the templates and then they actually, um, have another three to four, uh, virtual shows, you know, from friends and family, you know, right. Get started right. Yeah. And it's, it's just, um, really brilliant because, um, while you're setting up your live shows, um, if they do live, but, um, and, and what I came back from chairman circle too is, um, really to have a balance, just to really have a balance of the two types of shows. Um, cause, cause, um, I mean, we went to, Barb was telling me, I'm in Arizona right now, uh, visiting Barb Cuba, and she was telling me um, how she went to these cooking classes at Sur La Table and, and at two other places with friends, and it was anywhere from 70 to $140 a couple. And, um, she said, Nance, it was, we cooked together. We went home with recipes and a full belly. And that was it. Uh, we really, really need to jump on this cooking class thing, you guys. They, and, and we tried to get one and couldn't even get in on one while I was here. So they're filled. They're filled up, filled up, filled up. Um, so who else would like to say anything else about um, the new virtual or visually or share anything that they're having success with their team with this stuff. How is Visley different from Post My Party? Anybody want to answer that? How is Visley different from Post My Party? Honestly, I think that having being able to share the templates right on the website has been big. You know, so we have a t our team is on there. We have a team busily, you know, um, and then there are other teams on there that you know we can share templates with. Instead of going in and out of other platforms to share things, you share them right through, right on the Visly page. Yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I think that that's the biggest. 
What's that? Right. Otherwise, like SinShare, you have to share a link. Post my party, you have to share a link. You have to import all that stuff in there. But I think you almost have to kind of do the same thing, don't you? Like you have to, if you wanted to use one of those templates, you actually have to kind of, I guess, import it or whatever so that you can actually use it, right? Isn't it? Well, there's, yeah. well, there's two different ways you can do it. You can share a little code if you're yeah. sharing it you know like if i want to share with you patty and you're not on our team i could just share the code and you have access to the template okay um otherwise you just import and export whatever templates you want to share okay which is really easy i mean the whole thing just pops up so you're not dra dragging and dropping and all of that stuff right, right. and do they have things like text replacement or yes yeah okay yes so and they also have speed up and delay Okay. So if you if you're doing like an opportunity event and it's an hour long and you only have, you know, a handful of people on there rather than the, the posts going out every two or three minutes, you can speed them up as you're sitting right there. Mm -hmm. So you can just cool. speed up or delay right in real time. Okay. Yeah. So, cool. I mean, and I'm, like I said, I'm not like an aficionado on this yet, but uh, okay. you know, hey, it's fun learning new things, right? Yeah. It absolutely is for sure. For and, sure. This may have already been said, but I think from what I've seen of Visley, the biggest thing is you're not on Facebook, you're distracted by other things. Isn't that right? Uh, what do you mean? You're not on Facebook. V oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm thinking of a whole different platform. There's another platform where you can actually do right. online parties off of Facebook. Right? Oh, okay. Sorry. You're not familiar with that at all. Okay. Sorry. And I think Visley, you are. I think they all connect in some way. You have yeah. to connect your Facebook. They do. Okay. okay. I was thinking of something else. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, they they actually take your events just like Post My Party did. You know, it's linked together and it'll say, do you want to track this event? Do you want to untrack this event? You know, <clears throat> you know, you can track it at any time or untrack it at any time. You can stop the post at any time, which is cool. So. Okay, awesome, awesome. Sarah, do you know the name of the company? No, okay. I can't think of it. It's been a while since I've even seen it and I, I, I just was, anyway, sorry. Okay. No problem. Um, you know, I wanted to, uh, um, if we're, if we're done with anybody else want to say anything about that subject? Yes, Bobby Lynn. Can I ask a quick question of Eileen? And I'm sorry to keep asking you, little Miss uh, Swami Mommy over there, but <laughs> if you consultant studying uh, as virtual consultants, um, would you recommend they kind of start with that since they can do a free version? Yes. And if, you know what I mean? Yep. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Um, yes, I think it's really easy. First of all, the tutorial is so simple that I thought, well, I better take the tutorial. Why are you taking the tutorial? That's how easy it is. Seriously. Oh. I mean, it, it's, it's like six little steps and that's it. I would absolutely recommend they go through that just because it is, it's like a caveman can do it. Seriously. Oh, then I'll be able to. <laughs> <laughs> There's hope yet, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, if I can do it, and you know, it's poking around, you guys. My computer hasn't blown up yet, you know, so if I can do it, honestly, a new consultant can do it. And I did sign two new consultants at the end of January. They're both qualified. They qualified very quickly. Um, one of them did have uh, in $800 in, in virtual parties, and she didn't know, she didn't know what she was doing. She, didn't, she had never even been to a Pamper Chef party. Wow. So, wow. She was able to pick up Visley very easily. In fact, I had to ask her how to do the, how to do the text replacements last week. I'm like, how do you do it? Walk me through it. So yeah, I mean, empower them. I would totally, I would start them off with that service to be honest with you, just because I think the others are a little more cumbersome than this one. Well, and not to mention if they're like, I've got a girl, she's using her kit credit and because and she's getting the smallest kit because she has no money i mean she really has no money so for me to ask her and suggest that she sign up with one of these others which i'm on both i'm like patty i'm on the other two um and i'm just really getting my hands around since i spent a good portion of the weekend trying to upload everything into since for the prep ahead virtual party and my mind is exploding and I thought, there's no way I can get a brand new person to do this. First of all, to pay the $10 a month right off the bat and yeah. do the, you know, the website, you know, because yes, they get it for free, but they got to pay for it and it's added on. Right. I just don't know that I could ask this girl to yeah. do that. Well, and they do get the I'm not on it. Right. And they do get two free, but remember, uh, this is something that I didn't know. If they start a show at the end of, you know, at the end of the month, it's, it, it counts for that month, even if it reaches over. Yeah. Yeah. Like right now. Yeah. Right. So 
it, it all, yeah, I think that it's the way to go, especially for somebody who, you know, who's a little strapped right now. Ten dollars isn't a lot, but it is a lot to a lot of people. Yeah, oh, it's every little dollar. That's, yep. that's dinner for a couple yep. nights. You got it. You got it. And you know what? Let's face it, you guys. If they create a template, they don't need a posting service. If they only are doing a handful of of uh, virtual parties, they can just save it to a file right on their computer right. and just manually right. post. Which was the route I was going to take. But. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which that's what some people have told me when I've been on the road. I've, I've been in eight states in eight weeks, and um, they have been sharing that people that don't do it a lot rather than pay for a service, they're just posting three times a day. Right. And um, that there was, there's been a lot of feedback too about how much to post, and that three times a day, it seems uh, that that's a little more popular than you know, 15 posts a day. Oh, yeah. So, um, but to, less is more. <laughs> and I, I know for me, I, I, I talked to each one of my hosts that I did it with and, uh, over the past year. It hasn't been a lot, but all four of them said it was way too much. So, um, so I'm taking that to heart and, uh, and doing well, that. Well, and I think with, for me, I, I think I have scheduled, because I run a Monday through Friday, and I think there's 28 posts for the entire week. So it's like two in the morning and three at night or something goofy like that. Okay. And that includes the, kick off like Sunday night going in live and the wrap okay. up on Saturday. So yeah, less is more, but maybe, I don't know, maybe that's why my first, my first two are a little, I mean, they're, they're, it's like $600 in sales, but that's okay. That's, that's really good for a virtual. Is it? Okay. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's way really above good. average. Is it really? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Is that 600 total or 600? No, yeah, six, well, it's, oh, and somebody just placed another order. So I don't know. It might be higher than 600, but yeah, that would be. Too that's still oh, no, pretty that's, good. I'm going to say that's still pretty good. That's good. Yes, right. Jennifer. Nancy Jo, I just wanted to say this really quick. This is not my meeting. Uh, thank you for inviting me. I just it wanted to share something. your some... meeting, Jennifer. Don't say that. You're, you're more than welcome. Go oh, ahead. Thank you. I just wanted to add something that's working for me last month. Um, I only had four cooking shows, and I'm really a cooking show-based person. Um, and that's what I've done my <laughs> career, but I didn't have that many. So I was able to book quickly. That was the biggest key is quickly in. And I mean, within a week, I was able to book, but I'm doing one night. And the one night virtual parties, I'm not joking with you, produced $4,000 of sales last month. Wow. One night parties. And all I do is go live for 20 minutes. And it's not dragged out. It's not long. You know, it took a while to get the rhythm, but this is what we can share with our new people. You don't have to do week long parties. They can do it in one night. Just share your template with them. So it filled a void when I did not have a lot of cooking shows. So I thought maybe that could help someone. Absolutely. So let, let me ask you a few questions about that because I know Linda McGuire transformed her business doing one night shows. So do you, do you do one night or one hour? I do one night, 90 minutes. And then, so for example, if you were to book a party and I would say, okay, you know, you like to do them on Sunday or Monday nights because we don't have a lot of shows going on that night and people are typically home. So if, if you booked a party Monday night, I would give you a choice of um, 7.30 to, or 7 to 8.30, 8.30 to 10. So we give two choices because some people like late, some people like early. I've done them a little bit earlier if they have young kids and they want to put them to bed. But you just ask them what's a better choice. You can do two in a night. In November, I was doing two in a night. Okay. And one Sunday. I'm not joking with you. And this is why it's so important. We had sales. Last month, I had a $400 party. And she didn't close till this month. I'm on direct ship. She didn't close till this month. Sure enough, in the beginning of the month, I got a $288 order from the party last month. So the, the virtual party, and it's only one night. So what I do is I do the, the night. I'm doing it. I prep my dinner for the next day. I, I had a huge show, almost $800, with making a salad. Okay. <laughs> a salad. I literally, I prepped my salad for the next day. And wow. it was an $800 party that night. I couldn't believe it by the time she closed. So tell us the flow. It's 90 Sorry. minutes, so tell us the flow. Sorry, I just lost you. Is okay. it a 90 minute? Sorry. Oh, wait. Um, Is it a okay. 90 minute show live? No, it's what okay. it does. It's, I, it, I go live in it. But um, so, say for example, you booked now. I do, I do a one to two post a day just to kind of get excited for the party coming up on Monday or okay. Sunday. For how many days? Um, well, it depends on when you book. So, like, those were booked in quickly. I did one post 
or two posts a day, those were booked within like four days, actually. Okay. So I went ahead and just did like, so there'd be eight posts, but they're just fun tips, recipes, nothing salesy, just um, helpful information for them. Then when the show starts that day, they get one post an hour, reminding them that the show's coming, um, tips, recipes, and then, so it starts around noon, then the show starts, it'll say like seven o'clock, half an hour till the party, 7.15, 15 minutes till the party. So it's reminding them. And then 7.30, it says it's party time, who's on with us. It's basically like um, like a meeting. You would mm -hmm. a meeting. And then at 7.40, 7.40, 8 o'clock, I go live. And I say to them at 7.39, I'm going to go live at 7.40. But I let my family know between 7.40 and 8 o'clock, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere and go bye-bye so and my husband will say okay I'll go for a walk so he takes a walk or does something for 20 minutes sure enough I'll look at the clock and say okay there's five minutes left I'm going to wrap this up and then post start again between eight and nine o'clock so that's the 7 30 to 9 so they, then, then they every couple minutes they come in play the few games they're done and then the days after until we close I'll do maybe one post a day saying you know hopefully you enjoyed the party it's so simple, easy. You don't have to do all these tallies and follow with it. It's basically like having four catalog shows. It's just, it's a mix between a virtual and a catalog party. Okay. I love it. Yeah, I know. Uh, and on one of our calls, uh, Lisa Bailey um, shared with us how you can go in live to more than one party at the same time you put up a uh did every, was everybody on that one or does anybody want to know about that yeah okay um there you put up a little chalkboard that says going live in five minutes all right and then you put you go to a different um computer so you share Right? Am I, doing, am I saying this right, guys? You share. I think you actually, Nance, I think you have to start out on a business page, right? Because that's public. You do. You have okay. to start out on a business page. All right. And then, and then you share then you into share your to individual. Right. You can't see the, the, the posting that's going on. You can only see what's going on in your, on your business page. But it is live. Right. And people can actually see it. So anybody can yeah. see it. Because it is that you have to share it, you can share it to all the other different groups. Okay. What I did was that one party that's 800, I actually was out to dinner that night. So I did a pre recorded video to go in, and I, I came in live when I got home. It was beautiful. I, I can't lie, it was beautiful. Okay. I got home from dinner, I was like so relaxed. And then I popped in live and said, Hopefully, you enjoyed that video. We're going to do some questions. We're, you know, we'll have some fun games. So I did go live, but it was only for a very short time. Okay. And you and you can mm -hmm. save live video, so there's a way to actually download it and then upload it. So if you, as long as you don't use a host name, you can reuse that video over and over and over again. Awesome. Jennifer, awesome. do you do a group or an event? I know that's always the, you know. I know. I, I've done both, and I always have my hearts with events. So especially because it's one night, and then they get reminded, they get the reminders from Facebook that says the event's coming up at 7.30 tonight. Right. So do you, here's my question about an event, because when you put an end date after that, it's done. So you can't go back in and edit it and ex extend it. They can always get back into it. But I'm just curious, like, do you set the event up a few days before is when it starts and it closes on the day of, or do you just... For the, one night, no. for the one night parties, I do 7.30 to 9. And I can always go back in and repost. Mm -hmm. I can continue to post in there. People can go on there. Um, mm -hmm. I don't do any extensions if it's a one night. So I'll do like party start. So they know it's 7.30 to 9. It's done. Like the post, And I even tell them like I have a good night post. I have a thank you for playing post. Um, thank our host post. Basically the party is, and I tell them at that point, the party will remain open for a few days. I'm not joking. I was having such a hard time balancing, I, and I was literally felt like nothing was getting done well. <coughs> and I, I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but I was like literally on the verge of a nervous breakdown. <laughs> so I needed to find something to balance my life, and that balanced it. And I ended up with, and I know there's people on here with a lot higher sales, trust me when I say that. I ended up with, I think, 7,400 that month, but I had four live cooking parties. That's great. 
for That's life, great. but our people can use that and we can do it quickly for them if they're struggling. If they have a reschedule, they can always have a party. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have them do a quick, I have a, a quick tip though, because I went live last week on mine, on one of my events, thinking I could just share that video from that live. Right, you have to download it, right. then upload it. So mm -hmm. if you guys are planning to do, which I think is a beautiful thing to be able to just do that live segment once mm -hmm. and then download it and place it into the other events. But hey, here's some hot news uh, that one of those virtual parties, somebody just placed a $255 order. <laughs> She's like, oh, a 10 inch nonstick stainless steel skillet. Yay! Yay! All right, so there, there's another bump right there, guys. There you go. But, um, you know what I wanted to say, Nance, is that Linda McGuire um, yeah. doesn't do a cooking show on her right. live part of her party, but she does um, her favorite, like she does a, a zucchini and does yeah. like multiple products. That video right. is actually on my, um, on my YouTube because I was actually able to grab it from her doing oh, you know, and it is there. So she uses, you know, obviously the, yeah. you know, the veggie stripper, she uses the slicer, she, I mean, yeah. and, Shopper. I mean, she can use a lot of different things. So, um, doesn't she call it a few of my favorite things? I yeah, want to share with yeah, you a few yeah, of my favorite. A few things. of my favorite things, and I don't think it's more than I think this one was like seventeen minutes. But she yeah. said typically they go about fifteen. So yeah, that's exactly what and, I'm doing. Um, but I, I do know that that sharing has worked with. Um, and we can ask Lisa to do a little. I know she couldn't be on here, but. Um, we can ask Lisa to share with us again because then you can be running three at one time instead of one an hour. Because uh, Linda was doing one from 6.30 to 7.30 going live at 7, 7.30 to 8.30 going live at 8, et cetera, where um, Lisa shared with us how we can do it all at once. Right. And I thought that was a really great, great thing. And so you can continue. Once it's on your, if it's on your business page, you can continue yeah. to share that video. You don't have to really upload it. You can share it to any event or any group. It doesn't really matter. But I mean, you could always save okay. it, upload it to YouTube, and then obviously repurpose it. But with it being live and it being public, that's the difference. That's right. why a lot of times you can't see it. When people share something, if it's not public from another group um, or an event, it it's not because it's not a public you know, it doesn't start out public, but when it starts out public, you can share it. Okay, awesome. Um, and the other thing I want to make sure all of you know and tell your teams is the PCTeamTraining.com um, word, password change to extreme 18, E-X-T-R-E-A-M. No, I'm saying that wrong. E-M-E. <laughs> and <laughs> it's, it's, it's capital E. It's capital, capital E. Because we want to be extreme this year. We want to do things to the extreme so we can experience extreme success. Okay. Good job. Right? Yeah. So, okay. So please let your teams know that because I've had a lot of people calling in my, my, uh, and this is where we'll see who reads that, uh, that cel uh, celebration of success that I send out because I'm going to have it big and bold in there. <laughs> We'll see if anybody really looks at it, because um, it'll it'll be in there. So um, so anyway, um, all right. So are we done with uh, virtual? Anybody else want to add something that's working really well for them with anything virtual before we go live? Could I ask one more question? Sure. I think it was Irene. Um, how many hosts do you encourage your, uh, or how many how many guests do you encourage your host to invite? How many guests do you encourage your host to invite? Me, Eileen? Yes, okay. Well, you know, I just went right from the uh, training. They said to not invite everybody, invite your foodies, your girlfriends that you haven't seen in a while, you know, people are on you know, Facebook that you chat with all the time because mm -hmm. um, then it feels more intimate. So this particular show here, she had 20 people going and I was getting a little nervous because there wasn't a whole lot of activity, but um, the host is actually a very hot recruit lead and now she's got, she herself has $600 or $500 in sales here. So yeah, just, I just went with what the home office said. I figured they're the ones that are paying the training department to tell us how to do things. And um, I just ran with it. So I did not have them invite everybody just, yeah, that's you know, I told them to focus on having 20 to 30 going. So that's, that mm -hmm. hasn't changed since virtual parties first came on the scene, but 
not invite everybody. Just invite your foodie friends, your girlfriends that you chat with all the time on Facebook, you know, people that they normally see on mm -hmm. Facebook. And, then and is that a personal them. invitation? Is that a personal, like, yeah. there's thing that you should personally ask at least, so 10 to 20 people personally, like, message them individually? Right, right. And I also have them message them at the end of the event instead of me messaging them at the end of the event because they're not my friends. They're not going to see that right. message from me unless I'm their friend or they can hunt and pick on, on the notifications. But um, so, yeah, I have them. I don't, I'm not treating it any differently than a cooking show. So, I don't know. But that's okay. it. But, but but to get twenty going, you have to invite more than. I would 20. right right. She, yeah, she's not. They're not inviting twenty. I I think Christina had twenty going, and she invited like a hundred and forty two or something. But so did she keep inviting until she had the twenty going? You know what? That's a good question. I I really don't know. She had twenty going like almost immediately, which makes okay. me wonder if she did. She didn't do batch invitations. I wonder if she didn't do that. You know, maybe Facebook shut it down after whatever, 60 or whatever they do. Okay. But how, yeah. how else are the rest of you doing that? Because, I mean, Sherry, you're, you're really big in virtual shows. Can you answer that? Yeah. Um, I really don't give them a number. I just um, tell them to invite their, you know, friends. And then um, if they've invited less than 100, I usually go in and send them a private message and just say, from my personal experience, a uh, hundred people, and I do groups, so I don't really know who's going and who's not. Um, but I say from, from my experience, about a hundred people will ensure we have enough people participating and commenting, and that seems to work pretty well. Okay, awesome. And Lori Gilbert, queen, <laughs> can, you, can, you, uh, can you comment on that as well? I basically do the same as, as uh, the last person. I encourage them to invite between 100, no more than 200, because after 250, I do groups. So after 250, you don't get the, the view counter. Um, so if, it, the magic number does seem to be around 100 people, at least, because you get enough people in there seeing the posts, and nobody feels obligated that they have to buy kind of thing. Gotcha. And so are you, are you're having them uh, instant message? Yes, they private message to do the personal invite. No, individually. Okay. All right. Good. Anybody else have a question or a comment? I was just um, going to say being newer, you know, in the last six months to all of this, um, you know, really dived in and I did do um, a everyday fiesta using just going straight with home office, all the trainings and stuff. And um, I loved the office hours. I did put in suggestion. They said that they have a frequently asked questions, but it really wasn't updated to reflect, you know, the questions we were getting now. So I hope they will update that because things like how getting the videos to post, things like that, you know, all of those, the, the nuts and bolts stuff was kind of like more what my questions were. So um, I hope that they will update, you know, those uh, frequently asked questions. But one thing that helped me was I used a, I made a little, a little binder here where I had kind of organized, I even had, there's a pocket in the middle where I've got the, the checklist, the, 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 the host page for each one, and, the, and, the, um, and also they've got the, um, you know, the pampered host that you send out with to them with your packet. You know, I've got all that and some tabs for each party. So I was able to flip them between looking at that and then picking the things off, you know, downloading them into folders, you know. So it was very organized for me, you know, going through this brand new material, you know, with each with the, the setup and kickoff and all of this. So um, that was just a way that I kept it all organized. But I hope that they will, um, you know, take all those questions that came from office hours and really update the FAQs because for a lot of people who don't have, you know, if you're wanting that, that's the go-to person for you as, as opposed to having a buddy that you can ask on all this kind of stuff. It was nice to be able to have um, the office hours. So we'll, we'll see if that continues. Do anybody else use office hours? Mm -hmm. No? They did say that it was well received, the office hours. They talked about the office hours. Yeah, but there were, I'm sure that there are a lot of common questions, and that's where I hope that, because they had said, I had suggested, what about an FAQ? And says, well, they have one, but it didn't reflect all the new questions. So maybe from when they're doing these, um, 
you know, they're reaching out to people on virtual parties now uh, for these focus things. I hope that they will update that um, because that's a lot of people had the same questions over and over again, I think. Well, that's good feedback. Make sure you put, send that in in writing because anytime you send anything in in writing, it really, um, it's, it's like the, you know, the senators that say one call equals 10,000 votes. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, when, when we do things in writing, they can go into the meeting with a piece of paper and a mm -hmm. reflection. So always try to do things in writing. Mm -hmm. um, so, so let's move on to what's hot, hot, hot for your live shows and what, how you're training, what you're training your people with the new products. Who would like to jump in with that? Go ahead, Nicole. Um, I've been using Sharon Zellen's Rock Crack Talk at my cooking parties. And I just had a party yesterday and sold two Dutch oven sets with the stand full price. And that just happened at my last cooking party too. So I would encourage you to share her video um, with your teams. And I think it just works really well and um, shows people how to get meals done quicker. And I've been making bruschetta pasta with grilled chicken on the side to show off the new grill pan. And that's nice. really working. So awesome. Was that awesome, on, awesome. Was that, on um, was that a, a coffee talk? Was that a um, she shared it to director success, I think okay. last month. Okay. You probably need to grab that, huh? Yeah. Or ask her to send it to us, Patty, so that we can put it on PC team yeah. training. Yeah, it's really good and just um, I don't use the stand at my parties, but I bring it so they can at least see it and then um, they just get like super excited about it. And I think that bruschetta pasta is a really good recipe because um, it's it takes 16 minutes. It's so quick. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. By the way, a really simple um, if your host wanted to uh, share something alcoholic. <laughs> um, <laughs> doing fresh apple cider in the pot, warming it in the pot. I started it in the microwave, then put it in the pot to keep it warm. Um, we had this at Marie's uh, Christmas gathering, and then I had it at, um, at Christmas Eve at my house, and everybody loved it. And you take a warm cup of cider and put a shot of Fireball whiskey in there, and then... Um, one of those, uh, we put candy canes in there for the holidays, but you could just put one of those peppermint candies in there. You guys, it was delicious. And nobody got, I mean, I went through three gallons of cider for my family and nobody, nobody got, everyone was sober when they left. <laughs> I think, I think that, the, that the sugar from the cider balances out the alcohol, you know, a little bit. Um, it's not scientific, but nobody got smashed. So I was really happy. But it's really tasty. I mean, delicious. And I'm sure it would be delicious over ice, too, just to let you know. So, um, but I mean, it was really, they said, Aunt Nance, this is the new, new tradition. <laughs> so, started the night with warm apple cider and ended it with Randy Alexander's, because my mom always made those, so. Anyway, it's a good night, good night. But uh, that's just a little something that, um, fun, fun. So who else has got some things that they're doing at their live shows? Angie. Um, I had gotten away from demoing the whipped cream maker just because I was over it myself. And I brought it back the last month or so. That is one of those products, you guys, that all you have to do is take the 30 seconds and demo it. And I had like eight people at a party the other night and seven bought the whipped cream maker, you know, and I just tell them, I'll send you over a little variation image through text after, you know, tonight. And so they're excited about it. And I thought it would be something that really only people would be interested in around the holidays. Cause that's when you think of like homemade pies and stuff like that. But over here, they're just going nuts. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I guess I'm just saying don't forget about the classic uh, whipped cream maker and especially with it coming out in pink again um, it's definitely a good idea to still show that and it's cheap for the host as well uh, yeah. the other thing is I've not actually brought the new nonstick stainless skillet but I always talk about it on the front cover 
And I just, I think I had shared this last month that what I was going to say is what I've actually been saying. And I say, look, for those, you know, who loves the idea of stainless cooking and, you know, how much safer it is for us and how great it cooks things and you get fancy coatings on your meat and all this kind of stuff. And you feel like, and you know, who loves the idea of that? And everybody says, me, me, me. And I say, okay, keep your hands up. Now who feels comfortable using stainless and everybody puts their hands down. I'm like, yeah. well, this is like the best of both worlds now because we have the ability to cook in a pan that looks beautiful and cooks like stainless, but it's not difficult to cook in it like you would mostly stainless pans. And I have not had anybody buy it yet, but I had five bookings for April and for May because they're wanting those skillets 60% wow. off. Wow. Very just because of the skillet, just showing it off the front cover, just talking about it, creating the desire, didn't even have it with me. And people are like, okay, now when can I get the skillet? And then I always remind them, you can get it anytime for free or 50% off. But you know, people love the whole 60% off. That extra 10% is like a million dollars to them. I don't know. But right. it, it is making a difference just talking about it on the front cover. Yeah. Awesome. And it, you know what? And it's, it's only the middle of March. Think of it this way. Offer an extra 10%. If that's what they want, have them book earlier right. and, and you give a 10% discount. It's right. going to be more than what you're going to get for a show. And you can always put a number on it, Ange, so mm -hmm. that you have to go sooner so you can get more people booking for that 60% off in earlier. Yes. Don't ever be afraid to do that so that you book them when you, I know you usually book out a little bit, but for those who need something more fast, you know, sooner, I should say, feel free to do that. Um, has everybody made that um, orzo and shrimp dish yet? Everybody? Oh my gosh. I had it three times in one week. <laughs> <laughs> all at different meetings. I wasn't cooking it three times. <laughs> I, mean, I was cooking it three times in one week, but we had, that's the, it's the one that everybody chose. It is outstanding. It is outstanding. And we also made it with chicken with the lemon pepper. So if, you know, somebody doesn't want to pop for shrimp, you can always do it with um, a couple of chicken breasts and sear the chicken breast. So make it for your family, you guys. It was delicious and it was great the next day for leftovers too okay but showed a lot of products and it's really sold that that um stainless steel you know the non-stick stainless and um we made a double fat in the larger non-stick stainless it will fit in there no problem you just need to use a little bit more i'm finding the one and three quarter cups of the chicken broth it's it's more like two cups so you guys um, check it out and tell me if you agree with that. Um, I have always had to put a little bit more um, juice in. So what other recipes are you using um, from the new, the new stuff? The asparagus one with the chicken. Face asparagus hair. chicken. I heard that one's excellent. Amazing. Yes, very, very good. And I love that. You know what? I, I focus on cookware a lot just because I think that that's something everybody needs in their kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, I open the show with the whipped cream maker and the popcorn maker just so I can pass that around the room while I'm doing the other stuff. But honestly, you guys, I don't know about you, but we make crepes a lot here. It is amazing how they just slide right out onto the plate. You know, if you, it's just awesome. So crepes, omelets, scrambled eggs. I just love that they don't get caked up on the rivets, you know, on the old cookware and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. cookware is definitely that and the knives. That's, that's what I focus on at the show is most. Now, Eileen, do you have a little knife station where people are trying out the knives? I, you know what? I have them come up and just try it, especially if there's guys there. They kind of push me out of the way anyway. But yeah, <laughs> I, I pretty much, they cannot, you, you have to get the knife in their hand. I don't typically have, you know, my shows are not station style. They're interactive, but that's just because, you know, I get the host to, to have her friends come up and things like that. But um, yeah, I mean, the clothes and cut and the knife, those are some big things that I sell all the time too. So the knives, cook, cookware and cutlery, and you know, as soon as you say that our cookware is bakeware, they're all about that too. You know, that you can bake a cake in one of those skillets. You know, they're just, I just love it. So anyway. Cookware that's, is that's bakeware. What, that's yeah. awesome. Cookware, our cookware is also bakeware. And you know what? You need bakeware in your kitchen too. So you got them both right in one piece. You sound like a mobile okay. leads now. 
I know. Like, what? Mm-hmm. I said, you sound like Michael Reeves. Cook, where's oh, Peyton? <laughs> oh, man, I thought I got that from Tennille. I got it from somebody on your team training page. <laughs> so, yeah, give credit where credit is due. <laughs> hey, is anybody having any pushback with the handles? You mean complaints or? Yeah, complaints? just, I mean, any comment that, oh, I got to remember to take the handles off with this compared to. It's I mean, gonna, yeah, me personally, I think it's good. I, I have a hard time myself, but I've got bad, bad joints. Um, yeah. But yeah, I haven't, I haven't had anybody complain yet, but I've only sold a couple of pieces. Uh, so we'll wait and see. I'll have to do that two month check in or one month check in with them. Yeah. Right. Good. Good. Those are what else? Five year warranty and you can't, they're not oven safe. They're not oven safe and they have what, what did you say? A three year warranty? Five. Five year. Okay. Are they going to be a replacement item, do you know? Because someone asked me if they lose it, will they be able to buy another handle? <laughs> I would think so. Because I, I, think, I think some people that have our old stuff, probably more consultants, because why would you buy new, new cookware when you have a lifetime warranty on the list? Right. So <clears throat> more consultants that I'm thinking are going to put it in the oven and forget, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm thinking that. Yeah. Are, do, does everyone do station style or do you, does everyone do regular demo? Regular. Who, who does station style? Okay. I do a lecture station style where I'm in the center of the table and we're all together. I don't do station style individually. How many people do it like that? How many people do? Okay. All right. Um, so it's kind of a lecture station style. How many people do lecture style? Straight lecture. Uh, uh, no, no. No. How many people bring people up to work the products? Well, okay. I actually played tag yesterday. So that you was kind of tag? fun. We played tag. So I said, it's going to be an old time game of tag. And we had a regular table set up in the, in the living room with, you know, the every, you know, it's usual typical lecture style. And I just wasn't feeling it. So I said, I said, let's just play tag. So I said, the host, you come up, you know, wash your hands. Now you go tag someone else to come up. And then they had to go tag someone and they had to go tag someone. Yes. And it was just getting down to the simple things. It was fun. It was just a simple game of tag. It was Ooh, great. Fun. We had a good time with bookings and good sales. So I just do a mix. It depends on what's going on, what the setup is mm -hmm. and, right. and, the, and the feel of the people. Totally depends on what actually, what the show actually ends up being like. Awesome. You could also hand out or put numbers on the catalogs or on your folders and say, who's got number three? Come on up. You know, who's got, you know, that, that would be an easy way to, um, um, the, um, what are some of the other, um, ways that you're getting people interaction, interacting, anything else? I like, I like the tag a lot. Nancy Joe. So, um, at my, my show this past week, um, as people came in and I gave them their, their name tag, I asked them if they would like to um, help and participate in part, putting part of the recipe together. And if they said yes, I put a little star on their name tag. And I kind of find like the weeknight shows, people don't, aren't always interested in getting involved. They want to sit, they want to relax, they want to look at the catalog. But on my weekend shows, maybe a Saturday or Sunday afternoon, people are more likely to want to get involved. So I'm just awesome. doing awesome. it that way. You, you know what I've been doing is I, I've been putting the five uh, or six to eight, depending on the recipe, um, flight, the, the flexible mats and, and what I need on that mat to be made with a set of gloves. And then I ask some for some volunteers either six to eight volunteers to help me cook and that does two things it shows me who my foodies are it shows i, I put no one under pressure that doesn't want to cook and it also mo more times than not those are the people that book or uh talk to me about recruiting so um i'm asking those special people to step up to the table and um that and that way it doesn't put everybody, especially if, if I've got a big crowd, doesn't put everybody up there. Um, and that that seems to work. So and it makes it go really fast because that part's only about twenty minutes long. 
So, because you have everybody working on stuff. Here's a little tip also, Eileen. Um, you said you, were do, you did the asparagus. You guys know that you bend the asparagus and wherever it breaks, that's the part you use. Well, I was feeling some of those break points seem to lose a lot of the asparagus. So what I did is I saved all those stems. I cut where it looked, you know, woody off and I chopped, um, I just made them into small, like half inch pieces and threw them in a frittata yesterday with um, some, um, just some sauteed spinach. I had four mushrooms and I put all the ends of the asparagus in and it was delicious, mm. delicious. And I felt much better about not wasting all that. <laughs> So just a little tip on, uh, you can tell them, put it, put it in the fridge and save it for a little frittata and, you know, again, put it right in the, I, in, in this particular case, we didn't have a pan that would work on top of the stove. So we just put it in our metal bakeware and put it right in the oven and it just baked. So it was really, really good, super healthy. Put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on it. I should have taken a picture. Put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on the top, but it was delish. When you do your, your demo where you have uh, seven or eight people demoing, what is everybody else doing? Just still standing around watching? Yeah, they're, they're just like in a second ring around the table. And, um, and I'm the recipe reader, or if I'm showing them a tip or technique, I, I, I do it real quick. I t tend to have the stuff that needs tips or techniques right next to me. So it's easy for me rather than going around the table. Um, and I'm doing a lot with salad stuff because I just feel like that's, I'm still on my salad kick. Um, but that really, really works well. And then when I, when I am doing the, um, the chicken with the closing cut, I tell them how they can buy chicken, like 10 pounds of chicken at once when it's on super sale and prep it and cut all that chicken with the clothes and cut, strip some of it, chunk some of it, and then leave some of it in patty, in um, breasts, you know, the thin breasts, and that that really will save them a lot of money and be ready to go for dinner time. And then to uh, just tell them how to freeze it or if they have a sealer mealer. And they really love that, that they could be at one time deal with the chicken and mess, and then just have it ready to go for 10 meals. You know, if they, if they buy 10 pounds of chicken, you can have it ready to roll for 10 meals. So that's, uh, they really like that idea. And they'll, they'll buy the clothes and cut rather than thinking, oh, I'm just going to use it once every other week. They'll use it for a lot. And it, it'll pay for itself the first time you buy chicken on sale. Rather than paying 3 to $4 a pound, um, if you can get it for $1.99, 10 to 20 pounds of chicken, you've got it paid for it. So then from then on, it's free. Anybody else? Yeah, yeah. I've got a tip for, sure. for the, the quick sickle maker. Yes, go ahead. Um, can you hear me? Now I can, okay. Nancy, and I can last see you now. Week on, yes, okay. Uh, last week at my show, I have not, I've made the, used the quick sickle a lot at home, but Thursday was the first time for me to use it at a party. And as I suggested at lead, it fits in the make and take tote perfectly. And so I put it in my host freezer, of course, immediately when I got there, I mixed up the Nutella uh, quick sickle mixture at home, um, but chocolate milk instead of coconut or plain white. And then I demonstrated that just as a quick thing at the very end um, while they were sampling the food. And um, it was a, that was a smaller show than normal for me, but normally what I plan to do is draw three names um, from my ticket drawings, uh, from the tickets that, that they earned during the party, and let three people have those. And oh. then uh, this is just another idea. Uh, but that worked because that doesn't cost me anything, and they loved it. And they were just so amazed. Two out of the three, one's a host, and she's getting it with host rewards. The other one just bought one, and the other one was putting it on a wish list. So okay. they, they were mesmerized by it. Um, but I also want to, I haven't tried it yet, so I didn't want to try and fail at a party, but I want to use the silicone mold um, and try that out with little samples of it at home. Um, and if that works, then I'll pour that in right when I get to a host party, if that's long enough to freeze, so that I can offer a sample of the Nutella taste to everybody, which will entice them to want to try to 
you know, the quick sickle themselves. Sure. Awesome. 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 Yeah. Everybody else have a Everybody's quick sickle makers. Is it all good now? Everybody, anybody had, did anybody have to send theirs back? Let me ask you that. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Three. Okay. So it was, it was about 10% that they think they've got it down. So good. Nancy right. Joe, do you, I know they, they've teased us about the summer products. When are we going to actually find out what they are? I know that we can earn them, but I'm just curious as to when we will know what they are. Uh, is it May? I think we're earning them. We're earning them in April. You're earning mm -hmm. them in April. They're right, a thousand in sales and you earn them. Right, they're not launching till June. But I don't, they didn't really say, Nance. I think, I don't think I want to know. <laughs> well, am I the only one? <laughs> I'm sure I, I've seen, I've seen Facebook groups, you know, wondering what, where, you know, when they're going to find out about them. I don't know that they yeah. are launching them. I think it's like, just like our, you know, uh, free for all. I don't think that they are launching them or, or telling them what they are until, until April. I could until totally after the earning period. I would think in May though, we'll, when we get them, you know, yeah. that's when they'll yeah. probably May 1st. Or, you well, know. if anybody feels like they need to share and get it off your chest, you can call me. <laughs> we can't do that. <laughs> well, a very high dollar amount, you may be able to find out what they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just kidding. Don't believe her. <laughs> I'm right. I'm um, kidding. Yeah. What else are you excited about with the with the um, the spring line? What, what are you guys, you know, I, I haven't been able to, I'll be going home next week for a few days and then I'll be home after that. But um, I, I'm not trying to toot my own horn here and I don't, I don't have all my, um, my uh, recognition ready for, um, for this call. So I'm not going to, I'm not, we have a lot of uh, extra people on here. I'm going to do recognition on my individual calls on Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, but I, I have to tell you guys, I made a ton of calls. Um, I shouldn't say that. I probably made 12 or 14 calls for cookware and sold about $5,000 in cookware, um, our old cookware. But I can't help but think that I shouldn't be doing the same thing with the new cookware for people who have said that they wanted cookware, that they have, that they had that on their wish list, or reaching out to people, I'd love to come and do, how's your cookware, is it old? Um, you know, just it, I, because I had such a good, I sold $6,000 in last month, and I was traveling the whole month. I mean, I had one party um, that was good, it was a $2,500 party, but that's where I, I was selling all that, all that um, cookware in the hills of Pennsylvania. I mean, seriously, these people do not have money and they were buying pieces at full price. So um, I really wanna encourage you to reach out and do some customer care calls and be excited about the new cookware and what we have to offer. Um, put something on, you know, maybe try to use Use it with different things each day and go live on your Facebook page a um, couple times a week. Because um, I, I feel like it was such an eye-opener for me that when I made the calls, people bought. Yeah. Um, and I know there was some urgency, but there could be urgency. You've got crap in your kitchen. What, how, about, how about let's use really good, how, how would you like to use really good stuff? You know, so anybody have any other ideas around that? You know what, Nance? Um, Michael Yokely, I did not listen to it, but are you guys all connected to Coffee Talk? Because um, Coffee, Michael Yokely just did a training on our new cooker. So what it, what, what it might be great is that you're talking about going live, using the cookware. You know, I am thinking of a, maybe like a Google form, you know, to go along with that afterwards. And then, um, you know, same thing like you, are you interested? <laughs> more about this or even a, just a post I mean it could just be a post yes no or maybe you know yes I am no, I'm not could you have you had your cookware for more than whatever eight years ten years or whatever um, you know are you looking to make it easier for yourself in the kitchen I mean it might be just a fun little Google form like that that um, after 
you are starting to entice people to say, oh my gosh, it's going to be great. Who wants to know more? Or just share it in your, in your video, in your live. Right. And, and one of the things we have to remember is there's studies have shown that people want to just add pieces to what they already have. They didn't, want they didn't necessarily want whole sets. You know, so we have to kind of think differently about the new cookware, um, you know, being sold separately like it is, that do, do you need a really good 10 inch? Do you need a piece of stainless? Do you need a pot? You know, that they can um, just do individually. So we have to think differently, right? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Yeah. Nancy, yeah. I, um, one, of, one of the girls on my team wondered if we could do omelets in the, in the stainless nonstick. And um, I did a side-by-side -side demo just for my team live one morning. And uh, Sandy and um, Sandy and Jill from the test kitchens were at our kickoff meeting. And they said, you always want to use oil when you're making eggs, no matter what kind of pan. Even if it's nonstick, you want oil in your pan. So I spritzed both of them with oil, had it all hot and ready to go. And I just scrambled up one egg in a prep bowl and dumped you know, one egg in each pan. Okay. But it let them see it cooking. And honestly, they cooked just as nice being the stainless or the nonstick. Um, it was nice to see. It was nice, you know, like I flipped them and everything so they could see. Obviously, more than one egg is going to be better. Right. Something's clicking. Somebody's um, tape. typing like crazy. I think it's right. Wow. Is that Patty? Um, no. But yeah, it was really, really neat to see. I've been encouraging my hosts that have our cookware to save it and give it to their kids because their kids are going to need something. I said, why don't you refresh your kitchen and invest in some of the new products? I and then love that. that box, you know, for those, even the college kids, so you don't have to go to Walmart and spend $100 on crap, you know? Right, or right. The older ones that are moving out that aren't having, a, they're not getting married. They're just moving out on their own. Right. So refresh yeah, the house. The housewarming party is back, you guys. Remember to tell people that, you know, a lot of, a lot of people aren't doing showers because they're not necessarily getting married, but um, do you have a, a young person that's moving into their first place? Do you want to have a housewarming party for, for them? People could come and buy for themselves and also add to their kitchens. So let's, let's have a new wave of the old housewarming. Let's call it a fun game, fun name. <laughs> Fill my kitchen party. <laughs> What's your favorite tool? Buy it for them. You know, even small stuff. You know, that's um, that's awesome. Yeah, it yeah. all adds up. It does. It does for sure. Okay, we're we're um, over our time, guys. So, um, anybody else have anything else to add on? I appreciate all the interaction. Anybody, Patty, you have anything to add? Uh, no, I, I thought about, but I knew we were going to be doing something like this and it would take a little bit longer, but you know what? Um, I did a, um, uh, a, a training with Ch Chanda Mundell. Is that how to say her name? Chanda. I know it's like Chanda. Mm -hmm. um, so she Chanda. was she's Perch Bird Consulting. So she was a Pamper Chef consultant and she's gone over and, and started to do her own uh, training, but she... She was talking about millennials and she was talking about um, uh, using Instagram and Instagram for whatever reason kind of scares me, but she said that's, you know, if you're looking to attract those people, that's where you need to go because that's where they kind of are. But um, obviously it's going to take a little longer than that, but maybe we can do that another time because it was really some good information. Almost made me feel like maybe I should start looking. I don't know. And, and there's probably people on here that are on Instagram. Raise a hand. Anybody on Instagram? that really or okay okay so you know the only thing i use it for is since share post to it automatically so i never really have to go on it i could just post something on there and i never really have to go on there but um you know I, it was funny um i went to that cinch summit um back in january and yeah and there's a leadership one coming up in April in Las Vegas. So I am planning, I am going, I'm already registered. And I Are am. you? Yeah, I am going to go. Lots of incredible it information. It is not just about SinShare. Half the people there 
are not even Sinshare users. Angie was there, so she can probably attest to that. There's a lot of great information, and um, I can't wait to go. But this Chanda um, was talking about millennials and you know just their their makeup, what they believe in, that they they're the ones that are going to have the most buying power than any other generation, and they've got a two hundred billion dollar spend. You know, <laughs> so you know. It's all about, you know, their branding and how they know, like, and trust people, you know, so that they'll buy from you. And it's about the gig, you know, having that, that gig that part-time job or whatever. So she did a, an amazing job. So maybe that's something else that I can share maybe at our next call or whatever. But that's just too much to do now. But, you know, um, all of their likes, dislikes, and how to attract them. So. But yeah, there's a lot of great information. So I don't know, Nance, maybe we could consider because she'll do some training for, um, you know, a couple of leaders or whatever, uh, you know, like for your teams or whatever and other things as well too. So that's something. Okay. And is she, is she working for money. Pampered Chef or is she on her own? She is on her own, but I know Pampered Chef, I think is hiring her. Did anybody else hear that? They were hiring her to get some information for her. So yeah. Okay. Well, we should consider that. I, I'm all for that, you guys. Um, just to get, get the latest and the greatest um, news, and you know, I know I, I hashtag. I don't. I don't know what. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say. I don't know what it does, but I hashtag extreme eighteen a couple times this last week. <laughs> I don't know what happens when I do it, but so people. Do what is, what, what does good. it do? So, like, what? if you did Extreme 18, you anybody that, if you hashtag something, am I right with saying this? That if you hash, if you put a hashtag out there, like, uh, do and tell, that was a big thing that a lot of the lead people were doing um, because they were uh -huh. out and about or whatever. And then people can search it, and then you could easily find people that were using that hashtag and what they were doing, you know, do and tell. And I think it was just about out and about or something about, um, uh, you know, work at home kind of thing. Is that right? Does I don't know if anybody else was part of that. It, yes, and it depends on the which hashtag. How many followers would also be using that same hashtag? So, that for is. instance, Nancy, you, know, you there could be people who are extreme adrenaline junkies using Extreme Eighteen. Okay. So if you go to say Facebook or whatever, and you type in in the search bar Extreme Eighteen. Okay. Up with that, and if you. When you start to put that hashtag in, it will tell you how many people have used that. It could say a million, it could say 2,000, it could say five. Yeah. Okay, so it might be a way to meet men. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we don't yes. No, no, not the extreme not ones, Nancy Joe. No. Hello. No. <laughs> Very good. Oh, you got to research it before you use it. I'm what just embarrassed, Carrie. Okay. Step away from the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you, don't I use Sunday fun right day. The the I am teasing. We needed some laughter on this call. You're getting crazy, Nancy Joe. You're getting crazy. I know. It's fun. Feeling better. I just want to know what that hashtag would be. Like, what, what would that hashtag look oh, like? Oh, I was saying Extreme 18. Okay. Now, hashtag, hashtag, hashtag tall, dark, handsome, yeah, might need to money. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, let's make the money part first, because I'm, I'm, I'm through supporting someone, okay? <laughs> well, almost. Anyway, um, but uh, no, it's it's all good. I'm, I'm just teasing. Just laughing. Just laughing. So um, anyway, thank you guys for all your time today. Um, is, there any, is there anything else that somebody's dying to share? I know some of you haven't talked at all, so yes. Uh, sorry, uh, I'll talk off of what Eileen mentioned a little while ago about getting the knives in people's hands. I'm just an example. Yesterday, my daughter's boyfriend was here. We all went to church together, came home. They said, can we cook lunch? I'm like, yeah, I was planning on dinner tonight, but if you want lunch, that's fine. You guys are here. Everybody can help. Sure. So I had everybody in the kitchen and he was using our five inch forged cutlery Santoku. And he's like, why does this cut so well? Like what is going on with this knife? Wow. And uh, Madison's like, everything you're using is Pamper Chef, Michael, and blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> and last Michael's night, probably, what, about 18? 16. 16. So he calls me last night and says, 
my mom says to order that knife for me. Oh. <laughs> so just so you guys know, I mean, even a 16 year old boy is realizing when he had our knife in his hand that it's different than what he's using at home. So if you can imagine, like Eileen said, get it in people's hands because that is yeah. going to sell it. Angie, you should have done a FaceTime live with him. <laughs> right? I could use him for a lot it? more than just the knife. Yeah, right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Cool. Well, that's what I've been hearing. Um, I've seen, uh, I don't know how many hundreds, I think I, I'm over 500 people in the last two months. Um, people are saying to get things in people's hands and to have them experience as much as you can. And if they can't experience it, <clears throat> live then have them experience it through Facebook live um, I know Lynn Gant and or Kim Gant excuse me and I um, they had a, a snowstorm and she couldn't pick me up from the airport so we did a zoom meeting and then the next day she had a show and her host daughter came down with the flu at four o'clock so we just made it a Facebook live show and we were on there for 40, 40 minutes and she just did her whole show, but we had a blast and people, there was 15 people that were planning on coming to the show on the Facebook live and, um, and or on the Facebook show and they were going, Oh, I want to taste that soup. I want to taste that whipped cream. And you know, so it's, you guys don't just cancel, you know, go to zoom. Um, I think personally a Zoom um, um, experience would be better because just like I see all your faces and Carrie hiding her eyes when I said what I did, <laughs> um, I think it would be more interactive to see um, and and see what they're really excited about and when to go, do more things and when to do less. You know, like, okay, they're done with this, they're bored, they're starting to... I, I just think that the Zoom thing... Um, would also work for a show. Uh, so offer it, see what happens. Cause I mean, it's so easy just to click on the link and you're in there. That's what and, um, you don't have, do they have to download it? Does everybody who is on the Facebook event have to download Zoom or can they just um, access it through clicking the link? I don't remember. Kind of do they need to download it, Patty? I think so. They do need to download it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if it's, you're it's on your no phone, you don't have to add the yeah. app. No, it's not a big deal. Yeah. No, it's not yeah. it's easily, I mean, pretty much you can right. easily just download it. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and what you can even say, what Sherry, go ahead. I, I was just going to say, I've been trying with my team to just practice one-on-one -on -one, and they can't even figure out how to get on the Zoom. And it's so frustrating because for me it is, it's just a quick, you know, click of a link but to get it set up. I don't know. It's, it's been, so for, for a party, I could imagine. You might have to do like a trial run and get everybody on, you know, Tuesday night at six to just see everybody's lovely faces. And then we're going to do the party Wednesday or something. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Could be. Um, by the way, here's another tip from Sally Schubert. If you're doing um, training with Zoom, um, and I'm going to try this tomorrow, uh, I use the same number. And rather than start and stop each call, she just starts it at 9 a.m. and continues till noon, and the group groups come in and out, okay? And um, so, I mean, it, it might be different if you're recording. I don't know if you can stop and start. Yeah, you can stop and start recording and, and um, for the different groups, but she doesn't go in and out. She just has it going from 9 to noon and has all the different people coming in and out at their specific times. And uh, it helps her be on time because the next person shows up and then she makes sure in case that call is going a little longer. And she just said it's super easy, super easy. So um, I thought that was a good tip using Zoom. Um, and if you pay for it, you can stand as long as you like. So, um, yep, 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 yep. So anyway, anything else? Okay, I look forward to talking with a lot of you um, in our small groups tomorrow. I will send out a reminder, okay, because <laughs> um, you guys are spoiled. <laughs> but um, here's another tip. When I send out the reminder, just take and copy. Okay, I'll, I see you, Sarah. Um, one second. Um, take and copy the Zoom link and paste it in your calendar 
um, the days that you need it. So that all you need to, you don't have to go look for the email. You can just go to the calendar for that day and click on that link. And it goes right to it. Um, and that's how the only way I can keep it all straight. So, um, so I highly recommend for each call you have just just do the do the Zoom link right in your calendar. Copy it right in the notes of your calendar, and when you click on it, it goes right to it. So, does everybody know that tip? Did I teach you something new? Anybody? Anybody? Yay! <laughs> but go, ahead, uh, Sarah. Go ahead. Yeah, I just want to make sure, Heather, did you get your question answered about the customer care calls? What to say? No, I was just asking Nancy Jo when she okay. called on the, on the cookware what oh. you said on your customer care call. I want to make sure she saw that. Response. Oh, I didn't. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. I didn't see that. Um, on the customer care call, um, I, what I did, of course, I left a message or I texted people and I just said, Hey, I have some exciting things to sh something ex really exciting to share with you, and it's very time sensitive because it was. I only had two weeks left to the month to sell the cookware, um, but I would say I have something really excited I, um, to sh to share with you. Please give me a call. This is Nancy Joe Ryan, you know, with the Pampered Chef. Just in case they don't have you in their phone, all right. And then when you're talking with them. I just say, Heather, I thought of you when this new cookware came out. I remember, you know, I, I take little notes on my page of what people say. I don't need a whole set of cookware or I'm really looking for a, for a, um, a set or a one stainless pan. Um, I think this would be really great for you. I'd love to help you earn it for free or half price or, you know, it's a great value in itself because of what it's going to do in your kitchen and we'll come up with the um with the correlation of you know give up one starbucks a week and you can have this pan um you know it'll pay for itself in a year kind of thing um so uh, that that is a really good thing just give up one little whatever it is that you're that they could do when you put it like that when it's less than five dollars a week on something or less than three dollars a week people don't even hesitate they don't even hesitate so I want to encourage you to make some new phone calls and get out there about our cookware because it really is it's pretty revolutionary and while it's revolutionary you want to get to people because <laughs> you know imitation is the greatest form of flattery so you never know who's coming out with something next so and ours and really do this do dig into the details of it it's got five coatings um, what what else did they say about the cookware that really made it different patty remember the stuff that bill was saying oh um well of course the handles um are you talking about the stainless or the um... oh and the reason the handle is a two-step is because they didn't want to make it easy for for the handle to come off so people dropped the pants so if anybody um you know, gives you a hard time that, oh, this is a little difficult. Just say it just takes a, a, a little bit of practice because um, we wanted to make it very safe for you to take off those handles. But I'm sorry, go ahead, Patty. No, um, oh my gosh, I wish I had my notes in front of me. Um, I don't remember what else. I think what he was talking about, one of the things that it struck me was that he was saying it was titanium reinforced coating, which makes it metal tool grade metal tool grade metal tool grade and it also in the induction coating. cooking right it can do induction yes. cooking right the so stainless there, can yes the stainless can yeah which we never um, yeah there's so. never been i don't think there is another stainless non-stick cooker on the market that is um good on an induction stove top i think we're the only one yeah i think so too so um yeah. So does that does that help, Heather? Just by getting your give them a tease, it, Heather, give them a tease, and then you know it, it's a great reason to have uh, some friends over. And you guys, you have to remember that people. Um, I mean, my sister had a cookware demonstration where people came to the house and made them dinner, and she spent a thousand dollars on cookware forty years ago. Okay, so you have to, and she still has those pans today. 
along with our nonstick. But, uh, but I mean, people were paying big money for cookware all through the years that would last them for forever. So don't be afraid to have a cookware party and have five or six people over and use the cookware and show them how wonderful it is. You know, let's get innovative with it because it is, it is hot, new innovation, the best that's out there. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for pointing that out, Sarah. <laughs> All right, be good. Everybody good? Yeah. All right, awesome. Well, thank you for your time this morning from sunny Arizona. <laughs> going, going back to Chicago on Wednesday, and then I'll be back in Orlando on Sunday. Um, so needless to say, uh, lots of fun coming up. I'm taking a little vacation with my grandkids for five days. Believe it or not, Nathan turned 17 today. Um, that's crazy. 17 years ago today, we were in Australia. Um, doesn't, it just doesn't even seem possible that I have a 17 year old grandson, but I do. <laughs> and I'm Thankful for him and happy birthday for him. So, and Fallon. Fallon, um, it's her birthday today, too. So, anyway, God bless you guys. Uh, you. We'll see you again next month. And uh, for many of you, I'll see you tomorrow or Wednesday. Don't miss your calls. <laughs>